And one of those players good enough to spend some time with us tonight. There he is from Duke, Paolo Bancaro, one of the players who might be among the first, and if not the first, to hear their names called uh, when the NBA draft rolls around at the end of June. Paolo, thank you for doing this tonight and taking a few minutes here. You just heard the conversation about the, the, the discussion amongst the three of you that might be the first pick in this draft. Why do you believe you should be the number one pick in the NBA draft? Yeah, thank you all for having me, first off. Um, but no, nah, I feel like I'm the number one pick in the draft just because I feel like I'm the best overall player. Um, I feel like I check all the boxes, um, whether that's being a great teammate, you know, being able to be the star player, um, or doing whatever the coach needs. And, you know, I've been a winner my whole life, won everywhere I've went. And, uh, you know, when I get to the NBA, that's, that's going to be the same, same goal for me. So um, just combining all those things and knowing what I have to work on to be better is, uh, is the formula for me. Well, we all saw you as a freshman leading Duke to the Final Four this past year as part of the last group ever to play for Coach K, the legendary coach at Duke. How, how would you describe what you learned from him? What, what is the most important lesson you learned playing the one season that you did for Coach K? Yeah, um, you know, with Coach K, you learn something every day, really. Um, but the main thing I really took away from him was, you know, no matter what the situation is or where you are, I'm always, you know, presenting yourself in a strong way. You know, whether that's on the court, off the court, you know, never showing your opponent weakness or fatigue, you know, always looking like you're ready for the next play. And then off the court, you know, looking looking presentable, you know, looking like people can come up and approach you and, and being, you know, a genuine person. You know, that's probably the biggest thing he taught me. Well, Paulo, you definitely pulled that off, no doubt about that. Congrats to you. I've got to ask you, just strictly, not leadership, not character, we ain't questioning any of that. Just strictly on your game, when you look at your game and you know what you know about the next level, from day one, what is an NBA team getting when they get you? Yeah, uh, from day one, they're going to get versatility for sure. You know, there's not a position I can't play. There's not a place on the court where I'm not comfortable. So, you know, with the ball in my hands or without the ball in my hands, you know, I'm going to be all right. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be an instant impact. You know, I'm ready physically, I'm ready mentally, and I'm just ready to get to work. Forgive me for this predictable question, but a lot of times when guys are coming out of college, people always ask what I'm about to ask. If you look in the NBA and you look at a particular player, a particular star, what star do you believe your game most mirrors or ultimately will most mirror? Um. You know, there's a lot of guys. I would say there's a couple that I that I really try and take 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 things away from. Um, whether that's LeBron, you know, Jason Tatum, Giannis, Carmelo, just guys who got similar physical build. Um, but I also feel like I'm unique in my own ways, and I feel like I, I take parts of all their games and try and put it into mine, and I add my own own flavor to it. So I couldn't give you one player, but um, you know, I, I definitely I definitely am inspired by some of those guys. Congratulations, big fella, for making to this point. It's a life-changing opportunity for you and your family. But I want to ask you a question about off the floor. Because once you walk across that stage, your family and friends are going to become employees. So who in your life is going to help you navigate those relationships going forward? Yeah, really, really my mom and my dad, you know, they've been there for me the whole way, you know, growing up. My mom being a professional basketball player and, and a coach, you know, she showed me the ropes from a, from a real young age. So, you know, I don't see why I would go any different now that I made it to the NBA. You know, I'm going to keep listening to her, keep listening to my dad. And, uh, they'll, you know, they'll, listen, they'll uh, guide me in the right direction for sure. And I got to ask you this. What are you wearing on draft day? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's to be determined, you know. I came in the lottery, had to throw on something nice, but draft day still in the works. Palo, it was a pleasure to watch. Congratulations on, on all the success and best of luck tonight, and especially at the end of June. That's Paolo Boncaro again, yeah. the fantastic freshman. Yeah, from he Duke. got game. May very well be the number the one Rose pick here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.